have been reviewing the Chrome Industries Summoner Carry-On Backpack that is part of the Modal Collection. And this is the everyday carry backpack of that collection. I was kinda disappointed with the last everyday carry backpack that I reviewed, so I was really hoping for a better EDC backpack. Did this one deliver? The last everyday carry backpack that I reviewed was the Boundary Supply Errand Backpack. You can see that review in the info tab above. Unfortunately, while I really liked the build quality and the overall look of the bag, in terms of functionality and practicability, the bag was just not to my liking. Furthermore, I tested a lot of carry-on backpacks lately, so my craving for a good EDC backpack was very high. That is why I was really looking forward to test out this Chrome Industries Pike backpack of the Modal Collection. And before we continue with the review, let's do a quick roundup of all the important features of this backpack. 22 liters capacity, polyester 600D twill melange fabric, quick access front compartment, top loading and duffel style opening, organizer panel inside the main compartment, 15-inch laptop compartment, elastic water bottle side pockets, flap velcro side pockets, very comfortable shoulder straps and back panel, YKK zippers, metal hardware, straps at the bottom to attach a jacket for instance, and a nice beefy top handle. The first time I unpacked this bag, I was very positively surprised by the design, layout and choices of materials. This polyester 600D twill melange fabric kinda looks like jeans fabric and gives the bag, together with its overall design, a very unique and refreshing look. The material is very durable, doesn't attract much dust or hair and is flexible enough to have some give when loading a bunch of stuff into the main compartment. Through the very big top opening, you can load a lot of items into the main compartment. And with all of the items loaded, the bag is very comfortable to carry. One neat addition are these reflective accents, which are great for visibility when you are on your bike or motorcycle. On the outside, there are these two water bottle side pockets. And if you have a water bottle with a hook or loop, you can actually use these clips to secure the bottle. These clips compress the bag but also hold this part that has a front quick access compartment and reveal the duffel style opening. By the way, since all these pockets and zippers are exposed, you can flap this part this way to secure all the main access points against potential pickpockets and also give the bag a different look. Let's talk about this duffel style opening. While it is a great idea and it gives you the option to quick access stuff inside the main compartment, I would still recommend to use the top opening because you always have to deal with this flap to fully open the duffel style opening. And speaking about this flap, because of this flap or folding part, there is this compartment or pocket. And I use quotation marks because you can't really utilize this part properly. Granted, it's probably not designed to be a pocket, but you can still put stuff in here. It just doesn't feel right and stuff tends to slide out of here. This is not necessarily a negative, because this is not a dedicated pocket, but I wanted to let you know anyways. Continuing with pockets, these outside pockets aren't as useful as I was hoping for because A. Water can get inside through this small gap and B. To keep them securely closed, there is a lot of velcro which is very loud. This is great if someone wants to pickpocket you so you notice it, but it's really disturbing in an office environment. And while these pockets with their flap down velcro closing add perfectly to the look of the bag, I would rather have preferred zippered pockets. One last negative is that the laptop compartment does not have a false bottom, but is otherwise very well padded. But that's basically it in terms of negatives. This is a very solid backpack in terms of build quality, choices of materials and more importantly functionality. It is very comfortable to carry and I really like the very unique and refreshing look of the bag. The few negatives that I mentioned 
don't really interfere with my personal day-to-day -day use case. So I can highly recommend the Chrome Industries Pike Backpack if you're looking for a very good and high quality everyday carry backpack with a very unique design. Check out the description below for the detailed scores. And like always, if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thank you very much. In the beginning of this review, in the positive section, you have seen a small clip of one of my Patreon-only videos. For my YouTube channel, I decided not to do any sponsorships or ads beyond the YouTube ads. You can see my thoughts on that in the video in the info tab above. So I created the Patreon, and on this Patreon, you can see vlog style, behind the scenes, preview and unboxing Patreon only videos as a small little thank you if you decide to support me via Patreon. But please do not feel obliged to support me that way. You can still watch all my regular videos for free on this YouTube channel. That you watch my videos, are subscribed to my channel and maybe also my Instagram is really awesome. So thank you so much for your support and I hope to see you in the next videos.